All right, guys. Hey, let's check this out. Hey, good morning to you. Man, it is almost 4 o'clock in the morning. It's like 3, 350. So that's old dark 50 right there. Okay, but I had a good cook, had a good sleep. Man, it's been almost seven hours since I put these brisket on. Uh, right there in the middle, pit is running just above, that's about 215, 220, but my beauty block says it's been running 245, you know, which is still perfectly fine, you know, uh, to run, you know, 215, 225, but hey, that's that's cool. Uh, but my DigiQ says, it says 235, all right? Let's go ahead and check these stuff out, get these briskets checked, and because I think they're about ready to be wrapped, you know, uh, I did actually oversleep, slept, because my uh, briskets are at, the two on the top that's in the pan, they're actually at 175, 180. And then the ones in, down on the third shelf, not in the pan, they're at 160 and 155. Okay, so hey, that's okay. The vote is very forgiving. But if you if you oversleep, but I would say up top, it's not forgiving. So you got that's where you gotta watch it at. But let's check out these brushes. Look at the color. Side by side comparison. Uh, you know, I did run a wet pit uh, to catch all the drippings. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm that looks pretty good. Let me go turn off this uh alarm. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right. That's out the pan. And then we got the briskets in the pan. And that's why I like cooking in pans often because, man, look at all that red good old juice. Okay. Don't worry about the bottom, guys, because guess what's happening? All you're going to do is go chop it up, right? Chop it up or slice it. And put it back in the juice. Okay. Hey, but I got this new phone. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't really like it right now. Comments will appear. Okay. Anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and spread it down. Spread this thing down. And then we're going to go ahead and wrap it. Okay. Let me push this in there. Okay. All right, look at that. It looks good. Salt and pepper. You know I got to taste me a little piece, right? You know I got to taste a little piece. Let me pull this out just a little bit more. And then uh, look at the top and the bottom of these briskets. Mmm. Let's see. I'm going to get that little bite size. I'm gonna get that piece right. Oh, look at it, it just comes right off and already got some good smoke ring. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Guys, it don't take much. Hold on. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Smoky. You don't take a lot of wood, especially if you're doing a low and slow or you're doing a menu method. Mm, mm, mm. We're gonna go ahead and look at the firebox. Oh my goodness. Smoke all the way through. Juicy. I got I see a piece hanging out. If, it, if it's hanging out, I gotta get it. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Uh-oh. Let me get that right there. That's my breakfast. Oh yeah. I'm not smacking, but I'm smacking good. Let's check it out. Now if I could. Okay. I'm still smacking. Oh, there's all the little icons. Okay, let's turn off the light. Them tall logs, they pretty good. Let's see what we got. Wow. 
that's that's just over seven hours and I got plenty and these not even completely burnt down yet you know look I still got a lot of dead in the back I haven't even broken down yet so guess what I'm going to bump the temperature up after I wrap look at that these char logs are amazing um, I know my last couple of videos that I did that I used char logs I used too much and so I went half of what I used if you go back and look at the last video that says char logs you'll see how much I put in there and then how much I got in there right now but that is that is pretty good. That is pretty daggone good. Let's close this up. Okay. All right. Last look at my briskets. And I'm getting ready to wrap these up. Mmm. All right, y'all tell me what you think. As always, they're showing uh, the um, diversity of this of this pit. Either or, in the pan, out the pan, you're still gonna come out with the same results. But in the pan, it's just a little bit different because see that piece of meat right there? That's soaking in that juice. I'm telling you, that is some of the best eating. Uh, that you can that you can try when you put the briskets or uh, when you put the briskets in the pan all right guys so that's it this cook is done and we about to go ahead and wrap it up and the only thing I'm gonna do is get my aluminum foil and put and cover it at the top uh, and put it back in but one thing, if you do cover it up with aluminum foil, you got these meter probes. You got to make sure these are sticking out the uh, the foil because it's going to block the signal. Okay. Then I'm going to take these briskets, put them back in the pan, probably add a uh, quarter, half a cup of water. Hey, Freddie, a half a cup of water. I got my pans right there. Put them back in and call this cook done. Let's check out the bottom real quick. Okay, if you want to go a little darker, you can, but my briskets are ready to be wrapped. The middle shelf is sitting at 175, 180 on the brisket, and the briskets on the third shelf are sitting at the one, 160, 165. Nice, long, slow cook, seven hours. Got some good sleep. Hey, God bless y'all, and uh, I'm going to bring you back on my next smoke, okay?